My name is Ken Lewis. I'm a managing partner at SOM. Uh, my role uh, at the World Trade Center was to be the project manager for Seven World Trade Center and One World Trade Center. One World Trade Center stands as both a sort of 21st century Class A future office building. You know, the best and the brightest want to work in a building like this. It, it enhances their work life, so it's an environment that is healthy. But overall, it was making a marker in the sky for the memorial in the World Trade Center. You know, it marks in the sky what's marked by the, the memorial pools in the ground. And a large part of that are these memory elements, both in the form and the materiality of the building. David Childs, the design partner and the design team, really started from a sort of very simple premise that the building needed to be uh, iconic in a very clear and simple way, that its form would gain its strength from reflectivity and light, which is very unique in Lower Manhattan. To capture that light, we began experiments with the glass and how it reflected and captured light, both daytime and nighttime in the building. And that also went to the life inside the building. You can be up on any one of the floors on a regular day, not a particularly sunny day, and you can read a newspaper well into late in the afternoon without having any lights. The form of the building is really quite simple. It's the 200 by 200 footprint, the same size as the old World Trade Center. The height of the building is 1,368 feet, which is the height of the North Tower, Tower 1, and the bottom of that stainless steel parapet that you look at is 1,362 feet, so it marks the heights of the two towers, which were fraternal brothers, not, uh, not identical twins. The figure of it when it's straight to you, where it's the figure of the old World Trade Center, the 200 by 1,368 feet, and then as it changes, it rotates into a more obelisk shape, where it's sloping on the sides, and has that sort of memorial aspect to it. Well, the most important thing about the building is that it's LEED Gold. And LEED is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It's now the standard for sustainability for all different types of buildings. It's pretty amazing. We collect all the water off the roof and off the plazas. And that water, which is really quite significant, is used to replenish the cooling towers and also to irrigate the plaza gardens. The building itself has air filtration, two types. And it's amazing. The air inside it just feels so much fresher. So the first tenants moved into the building on November 2nd, 2014. Very exciting day. And actually kind of normal. You know, no big celebration. Let's just move in and start your new life in the building. 